the floor made up in robot. SpongeBob SquarePants, the famous cartoon series that's currently reaching its 14th season. Did you know that back in season 3, an episode was accidentally released one week before the episode's missing identity and Plankton's army was planned for release? The episode was called, Bikini Bottoms Blackout. Using the same production code for Missing Identity and Plankton's Army, the episode was secretly made by an ex-storyboard artist, Aaron Parkinson. Christmas had came, and one of my presents I received was the SpongeBob First 100 Episodes box set, an amazing jam-packed box set of the first 100 episodes. My parents told me when they first got it, it was sealed. As I took it upstairs, I opened the seal and the case. All of the episodes were listed in season order until I noticed something. On the corner of the case was a wrapped package. Curiously, I opened it. Inside was a written DVD or disc titled, Bikini Bottoms Blackout, in beautiful cursive writing. Cool, a bonus disc. I thought as I put it in my DVD player and pressed start. It immediately took me to the menu, but something was off. It was bare and empty, with only the logo and three options, play, setup, and warning. The warning screen played the following message. Warning. This episode contains graphic imagery and psychological elements that may not be suitable for viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. After reading the message, I pressed play. It started with the episode's title, and instantly, I noticed the title card looking strangely harsh, with music from the title card of the episode Muscle Bob Buff Pants playing in the background. It first shows the Krusty Krab, with SpongeBob sweeping the floors at night when Squidward decided to turn on the radio. A voice on the radio was heard saying, We might be having unexpected dry thunderstrikes. We may experience a full white blackout. I look at the screen, puzzled. Starting off already, that's new. I thought. Oh no! SpongeBob exclaimed. Squidward looked over and gasped. This is horrible! Squidward screamed. Soon everyone started to go to the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs came out. Why is everyone coming here? I mean, I do enjoy my fair share of business, but... Mr. Krabs said, chuckling nervously. We're experiencing unexpected thunder strikes! One fish shouted. Our homes could be demolished! Another one said. The winds are gonna pick up soon! Sandy was heard shouting. A loud thunder strike was heard as the sky darkened. Everyone held onto each other, as sounds of gusting winds crashing and clattering sounds were heard. SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Squidward all screamed as a piece of the Chum Bucket's claw finger crashed into the side of the Krusty Krab. It shows a slow zoom on SpongeBob as he held his head. Suddenly, it shows a dream sequence of SpongeBob walking into the Krusty Krab. It was destroyed in multiple areas and Squidward was shown with a static face. SpongeBob walks up to Squidward and asks what happened. The quote from the SpongeBob episode All That Glitters was heard, accompanied by static from Squidward's face. Nice outfit, SpongeBob! <laughs> repeated ad nauseum. As it repeated, it kept getting louder and louder, before Squidward shouts. Nice outfit! <laughs> Another lightning strike explodes as SpongeBob lets out a manic scream. As SpongeBob opened his eyes, he noticed Mr. Krabs strangling Patrick in what looked like a blue sky crusty crab and at a weird angle. SpongeBob yelped and covered his eyes. Sandy was shown. What's the matter, SpongeBob? Sandy asked as SpongeBob's eyes adjusted and it suddenly showed him waking up. What? SpongeBob groaned. What happened? SpongeBob asked as he got up on his legs. You had a mental breakdown, Squidward said. SpongeBob gasped. I rarely have those. SpongeBob panicked. Patrick looked outside as his rock flew over and... <laughs> Patrick's head was shown smashed, revealing bone and a slow trail of blood oozing out. The final shot of the episode shows everyone mourning the loss of Patrick and the storm clearing up with the credits playing. 
First of all, I couldn't believe the amount of disturbing detail shown in this episode and I'm still in shock with the amount of screenshots I caught. But secondly, the blackout part was never shown, like, at all. After the episode finished, I went downstairs and asked about the bonus episode I received. My parents were at first confused, until I showed them the screenshots. My dad turned pale, and my mom passed out. My dad looked at me and told me that the director of the episode was a friend of his, someone named Carl Christopher, who died of a stroke. It turns out the friend made the episode before he died. About the screenshots. I shared it with my friends who told me to upload this and along with the screenshots to show everyone that it exists somewhere. To this day, I kept the bonus disc somewhere in my closet. I know I'm not insane. I just know 